So as you guys know, we're big fans of the Skoda Laura on our channel. It is probably one of the best cars and best bang for buck deals because it provides a lot of performance for not a lot of money. But the thing is, we haven't featured a balls to the wall Skoda Laura build on our channel up and until this car over here. This thing is probably India's fastest Skoda Laura. It's fitted with an all wheel drive system, a massive, massive turbo, and it produces approximately 500 horsepower. Welcome back to the Drivers Hub, and this is India's fastest and India's first all wheel drive. Flora. So this Laura TSI over here is nothing short of a race car. Uh, this bootlet over here is made out of fiberglass. You have this twin exit exhaust setup uh, made by Borla. Come over here to the side, you have these 18 inch uh, wheels which are actually staggered. And apparently in the front, behind the front wheels, you have a Lamborghini six piston brake uh, kit which well looks absolutely amazing you have the brembo uh, logo and the red color on it uh, the front hood also is made out of fiberglass and you have these race car style hood pins and everything and overall this thing is just proper race car now you can see that the rear wheels are actually sticking out a little bit more than the fronts because it has the Holdex all-wheel drive system from a TTRS, so probably the subframe and the axles and everything are causing that to happen, but that's all in the name of performance. So, talking about performance, let's open up the hood and talk about what's underneath the hood. So, opening up this hood, well, it's not much of a task because the hood itself is super lightweight and once you see the engine, you can definitely see that there's something not Laura TSI about this thing because this thing is actually a fully built engine. Yep, you can't push approximately 500 HP out of a stock 1.8 TSI. So of course you need some built forged parts inside the engine bay. Now the list is way too long. So I'll again have to open up my phone just like the VRS video. And I'll just quickly talk about all of the mods that have been done. So, you have upgraded stainless steel brake lines, you have a Bilstein B14 track suspension, you have a forged blow-off valve, a full exhaust with Bola end cans, decat and downpipe, muffler delete, upgraded silicon piping, an open air filter with 3-inch piping. Just look at the size of the intake and look at the size of the pipe. It's absolutely massive. Then you have an Audi RS3 upgraded intercooler, which I'm guessing is over here and it is, again, quite massive you have an audi r8 coil pack which is again upgraded uh, exhaust with a valve remote race dynamics key three map uh, stage three plus drls from a vrs on this front bumper the bumper actually also is custom made it's not a normal vrs or a normal laura bumper you have forged pistons forged rods and to handle all of that power to make sure the gearbox works it has a sax racing clutch a solid lightweight flywheel and of course with all of this power with all of these mods i'm pretty sure no one is going to be driving this on the road so uh, this is a proper race car setup so you have a fia spec roll cage harness and sparco r333 racing bucket seats so as you can see it's a pretty thorough build and yep i'm i'm in no doubt that this thing can push almost 500 horsepower so Let's uh, shut the engine bay because, I mean, you've already seen the insanity that's going underneath the hood. We'll shut it, hop into the driver's seat, talk about the interior for a little bit and then go out for a quick spin. The Indian car market is in a pretty peculiar spot right now. You don't want to buy a first-hand car and take that hit of depreciation and you don't want to do the labor of finding a clean second-hand car and then taking it to a workshop and then bringing it back to that perfect showroom condition that you've always wanted. Well, what if I told you that TDH Classifieds has got you covered now? These three cars are our own inventory cars and we've done our due diligence in bringing them to that showroom condition that you've always wanted. So all you've got to do is enjoy the showroom experience that we provide and drive your car off worry-free. So what are you waiting for? Head on over to the driversup.com slash TDH classifieds and get yourself the car of your dreams.
So as you just saw, hopping into this car with this FIA spec roll cage, it's a little bit difficult, but that's a compromise I'm willing to do because this thing is going to be absolutely insane. I'm pretty sure. Let's talk about a couple of things in the interior which are a little bit peculiar, something that you don't see on a regular basis in your run of the mill stage two, stage three car that you see on the streets. So first of all, this gear knob over here has been picked up from a Polo or a Vento. Uh, it is the normal Lora six-speed gearbox with the Saks racing clutch. Uh, but the thing is, since it's from a Polo or a Vento, that's why it only shows five speeds. Then the other thing that has been picked up from those cars is the steering wheel, the nice flat bottom steering wheel with the infotainment system controls. But this thing does not have an infotainment. It has a complete infotainment system delete. And instead you have this tray over here, which says, for racing use only so i'm not going to be messing around with these switches over here quite a lot now you have three four switches over here and uh, most of the switches control stuff like the all-wheel drive system the exhaust etc etc you also have a garrett uh, boost gauge over here and the instrument cluster is still from a stock lora but i'm expecting this thing to be not anywhere near as fast as a stock lot. It's going to be ballistic. Couple of more details that you should look into are stuff like the cutouts that you guys have to do when it comes to putting a FIA spec roll cage. So the door card over here has been cut. Even the door handle has been cut to accommodate for this roll bar over here. And yeah, I think so. Enough blabbering. We're going to crank the car and see how it sounds. We're now in the stage three, stage four, whatever you want to call it, Laura. All wheel drive, a massive, massive f off turbo. And let's put it into first, give it a little bit of accelerator. Oh my God. Oh my God. And since it has no weight lugging around it with like the interior panels and all of that stuff, it is light and it has a lot of power. Now I'm guessing this car isn't running full boost at the moment. So it's a little bit restricted, but still the turbo noises are insane. <laughs> yeah, this thing is properly fast. I don't know if the camera is able to show my face because we're moving around so much. This thing is a race car, so you know, we're having some problems filming inside it. But yeah, once it gets moving, it is just super duper fast. So let's talk about the build. So this build has been done by Keith D'Souza. Uh, you might have seen him on Instagram because he's been racing for quite a while now and he's the person who's actually built the car. So everything from the forged parts uh, to making this car with the bigger turbo, the tune, everything from A to Z, everything has been done by Keith D'Souza at Unimec Racing Goa. So this thing is a pretty customized and pretty personalized build. And as you can see from the outside as well, the bumpers have been personalized to a certain extent. The paint is satin black because that's, I guess, what Keith likes. And yeah, this thing is basically Keith D'Souza's little baby. And apparently, this is India's fastest Skoda Laura 1.8 TSI. With the all-wheel drive system, with this massive Garrett turbo, and pushing almost 500 horsepower with this forged engine. This thing apparently can do 12 seconds in the quarter mile with a manual gearbox yes with a manual gearbox that is absolutely insane you know what 
this thing feels like this thing feels like a lancer evolution that's what it exactly feels like the way it shifts the turbo noises the all wheel drive system it reminds me of a lancer evo 7 i've actually driven one uh, we've unfortunately not been able to make a video on it but that's exactly what this thing feels like more or less like a lancer evo yeah if this is what you can do to a lora this is absolutely insane a lot of things to talk about i mean a lot of things it has no lift shift it has launch control it has everything that you can think of possible i am not doing most of those things right now well because i want to not break the car because it's not my car and i'm pretty sure if i break something the bill to replace all of those things will be quite expensive but yeah this thing is an absolute monster now keith has tuned this thing to his liking and apparently it has a little valve inside the engine bay and if you tweak that valve that actually gives you more or less boost pressure so just basically by tweaking some sort of a valve inside the car inside the engine bay you can create or reduce the amount of boost that this turbocharger is making and that's basically more or less power that's absolutely brilliant and i'm pretty sure that this thing will be amazing to drive on a drag strip and will put a lot of sports cars to shame once you put them side by side after our drive we pulled over to the side and keith like the madman that he is turned up the boost to maximum flicked some switches here and there and gave us launch control Now mind you the car wasn't running proper fuel nor was on the correct fuel map to exploit all of that boost so it was misfiring a little but it gave us a gist as to what this thing is actually capable of freaking hell that was absolutely insane now expected this car does not have ac so i'm absolutely sweating and yeah i'm having an adrenaline rush for sure i mean my hands are little are shaking a little bit because this thing is too fast and especially when we did the launch yeah now and getting out of this thing is another problem but we'll push through not very graceful because race car now in recent times you've seen all of the insane builds of all wheel drive with the octavia vrss that we've done recently but this is actually quite recent it's like 2020 2021 this thing was built all the way back before uh, the covid lockdown back in 2019 so this predates all of the cars that we've uh featured on the channel when it comes to the Holdex all wheel drive swaps and it got a built engine in 2020 so it predates the VRS 600 as well when it comes to a built EA888 and this thing is an absolute monster i don't know why we didn't come to goa beforehand to make a video on this we've known about this car for quite some time but we've only come here in 2023 which was a mistake on our end we should have come much earlier to feature this thing It's a proper car. It's an all-rounder. If you want to take it to the track, you can do that. It has the braking capacity. It has the suspension. It has everything. And of course, you have this honking great engine underneath the hood, which produces almost 500 horsepower. So do give Unimac Racing Goa and keep this user racing a follow on Instagram because this is their amazing build. Follow us on Instagram. Check out our website. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you in the next one.